guys, Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. I hope everyone's doing well and taking care of yourselves in this pandemic. Things are getting crazy. Toilet paper's missing. People are fighting over what they wipe with their butt. How ironic. Now, what are you doing today? Are you obsessing over toilet paper? Or are you really concerned about what might happen here in the near future. Well guys, I'm going to tell you this. Things have just started to get bad. It's going to get worse. I hate to break it to you, but this is a fact. You have a choice though. You can either give in to the panic or you can kind of just sit back and watch as other people panic. It will pass may take a little while, may take a few weeks, but it will pass. Now, the, all of this stuff that's going on, um, really what we're seeing about the virus, I've mentioned this before, it is simply to kind of cover up what's actually happening, and that is uh, the fact that we are switching to a new financial system. Um, I think if that was being the narrative, uh, people might panic a bit more um, however people are still running to the banks pulling out cash pulling out a lot trying to pull out all their cash uh, which is always kind of a bad thing now I'm not one for uh, saying that people shouldn't have their money but the fact of the matter is we're moving away from fiat um, I mean that's a good and a bad thing but still that is what's happening now as far as crypto goes, yes, we all know crypto is the future. XRP is the future. Uh, all of that is is obviously happening in the background. XRP is being heavily used still. Um, but as far as um, the current situation, all markets are suppressed. This, this has never been seen before. Every market being suppressed. And now, crypto is a new market, but uh, even still, everything else is suppressed gold, silver, stock market, um, I mean everything, right? Uh, oil, now all of these things are for the most part suppressed for, or down I'll say, for different reasons, but they're down nonetheless. Um, just looking at a few things uh, today and listening to some different conversations, uh, we have some exciting times still ahead of us. So what I'm going to do is um, first of all, after this, as you can see here, things are fairly quiet as far as XRP. Now, obviously, we all know this does not include every uh, exchange and you know all the transactions that are happening, but still quite a few. Um, it's pretty quiet, as you can see here, but you know, interesting nonetheless. I like the graphics here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to um, a live, what live um, coin watch? If I can get that out. So, yeah, we have hit kind of a plateau here on uh, pretty much everything. XRP is 15 cents. Great time to buy. It touched 11 cents. Some people are saying that it could go lower. Uh, some are saying we're actually about to go up. I'll go ahead and go to that uh, article. Where is it? I think it's right here. Yeah. This is Ripple News Today, Ripple XRP, price targeting bullish zone after bear pressure, March 16th, 2020. We could go up here in the very near future is what it seems that they're saying here. It really doesn't matter it, um, unless it gets to, in my opinion, unless the price goes up to, uh, you know, a dollar or more, it's inconsequential. Um, I think we're we still have a long way to go with this whole pandemic and everything that's going on. Uh, the U.S. is uh, obviously, if you've paid attention, Trump's looking to send a thousand dollars to every American uh, to help, as it says, battle economic slowdown. This seems a little strange to me, um, to be honest with you. <laughs> Someone did suggest on Twitter that they just send everybody uh, like 50 or 100 XRP and, you know, the price of that would be much lower than doing this. And then um, 
turning around and increasing the price of XRP to a thousand dollars I think I said but that would be very nice uh, some of us it would help more than others but all in all that would probably do a lot better than um, than sending a thousand dollars to everyone but hey it is what it is um, now here we know what's ahead of us um, but this particular pandemic this issue we're seeing is going to cause more problems as you can see here it could trigger a housing market crash but guys don't be fooled this is not due to the corona well, to CV it is but this is something that's been planned and it is going to happen either way the, everything has to essentially crash before we can move to this new economic system it it just has to do it um, and you know and I, I I was thinking of a very simplistic way of uh, of looking at it and uh, I don't know if this is absolutely correct or if this is correct at all but it seems to me that they would want to bring the market down as far as possible every everything switch over to this new um, financial system however that looks and then that way uh, being that would be the bottom of this new financial system giving a lot of headroom for uh, everything to go up now everyone who is you know very wealthy right now they are going to make out like fat rats in this whole transition uh, the, the majority of us who are involved in XRP and crypto for the most part who are somewhat awake we're going to you know without a doubt be able to take advantage of of a lot of this going on um, but it's it's the same old story you know it's the same old story the rich just get richer uh, and the poor get poorer and the most and most of us who get caught up in all of this uh, that's happening um, you know the, those of us who are not able to weather this storm um, unfortunately are going to get taken by it uh, so you know I, I you know, I don't know what this, what else to say about that. I mean, I guess if we can help each other at all, uh, that would be great. But you know, it is what it is, and and um, yeah, guys, life just kind of it just kind of sucks sometimes, and sometimes it's good. But anyway, okay. So, Binance U.S. CEO Catherine Cooley admits XRP is a faster version of Bitcoin. Well, you don't say. You don't say. Well. And I think as we move along here, we're going to see more people saying things like this. I mean, guys, we know where XRP is going. We have a, a very rough patch to go through, guys. That's just all there is to it. We have to deal with what's coming, and we have to get on the other side of this. If if you're strong, uh, most of us already know. In fact, we're buying in this uh, in this market here, and. Um, that's the best thing to do that's the best way to combat what's actually happening um, I just I don't now don't get me wrong I do not know for sure what's about to happen I've heard a lot of things I've seen a lot of things there's no way to tell I just personally cannot see XRP moving up and you know until we get closer to the end of what's happening right now um, I could be proven very wrong uh, we might, I think we might see a little bit of a, a bump up, but for the most part, we're not going anywhere significant, in my opinion, uh, until all of this stuff is kind of closer to ending. We haven't even started, <laughs> really. We haven't really even started. The lockdowns are uh, beginning to happen. Um, you know, uh, I mean, even at the place that I work currently, people are just beginning to start to work from home you know there's still quite a lot of quite a decent amount of traffic when I go back and forth to work yes I still am going to work um, and uh, I will until they tell me not to I mean I don't I'm, I'm not really concerned about all of this but uh, all in all um, we're this is the beginning stages I think this may uh, actually last about eight weeks um, however, it could go longer. Whatever the case is, guys, uh, again, you know, just don't get 
too uh, concerned about all this or rather don't panic I'll just say that don't panic whatever you need go to the store I would say just pick up enough stuff to get you through the next couple of months you know maybe three months and believe me that's that's a decent amount of food but it is definitely uh, not so much that you can't hold it in a in a uh, standard refrigerator uh, your dried foods is really what's going to uh, be the most important because uh, they will keep uh, for a very long time you know obviously dried foods and canned foods um, and you also if you get to the point if, if things get to the point where you go to the store and the shelves are empty which could happen I, I mean who knows uh, but you know you may need to modify how much you eat and obviously you know actually guys this could be a very good time to start that diet you, <laughs> you may have been planning you know uh, you may not be able to go to the gym. I know uh, places like that have been closed down where people, for the most part, congregate. Uh, but, you know, going out for a walk, um, you know, maybe doing, you know, going for a run or, or even doing stuff in the home, in your home, that's, you know, that that is um, definitely something you may want to go ahead and start picking up. Uh, it'll, it'll also combat the uh, boredom. Um, I know me, if I am told to stay home, I will be doing a lot of gaming. So you'll probably see some of that. Anyway, um, that's really all I wanted to talk to you guys about. I, I really appreciate those of you know those of you who were interested in my other little project. Um, uh, you know, it, it not I didn't get much of a response, honestly. But that's fine. I honestly, I did not. Res I didn't expect what I got. So, uh, again, it's all good. Uh, there are definitely bigger fi fish to fry currently. So, uh, anyway, guys, make sure you take care of yourselves. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and the post notification button, so you know when I post it again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless. Thank you.